Hello, how are you? This is Hina from Team Tess, and I am back again with another set of question answers for this prestigious examination of GIT. Now, you already know our books are out. You can order your own book exclusive practice test book for GIT. You can have an online course with Kalyani, ma'am, or you can also opt for online quiz. For any details, you can contact us on this number. 938783987 I am so happy when I do these questionnaires with you it is awesome so let's begin with question number 1 here in front of you on your screen <laughs> okay well this is from restoration comedy quotation marks one's cruelty is one's power and when one parts with one's cruelty one parts with one's power. These lines are taken from William Congreve's The Way of the World. Who is the speaker? Your options are A. Millamant, B. Whitwood, C. Fenol, or D. Mirabel. Come on, who spoke these lines in The Way of the World? You know it. Yes, you do. It is option A, Millamant. You know who Millamant is, right? She's this young, charming widow who is loved by Mirabelle and who is the niece of Lady Wishfort. A little bit about the way of the world. Well, this play was performed first in 1700, one of the best restoration comedies. And now, can you tell me the pioneers of restoration comedy? You know them, right? There's Congreve, there's Weichelet, there's Farquhar and there's Van Brew. Perfecto. Can we move on to question number two? Here it is. Okay, the options are long. So what I'm planning is I will explain you every option and then we'll move on. It will make it easy, okay? Don't worry, it's very easy. This question is from Indian Aesthetics. Choose the correct statements. Option A. Shamendra is the founder of the Ochitya School. He analyzes 27 types of Ochitya and shows examples and counterexamples. Is it true? Yes, it is. Okay, you should know about Ochitya theory, a word which comes from Sanskrit word Uchit. You know Uchit, right? Uchit means appropriate, perfect, apt. So basically, Ochitya theory was propounded by Kshamendra and it says that aptness is very important when you are creating any aesthetic work. Easy. So option A is correct. Let's go to option B. Sphota theory is given by Bhartihari. It refers to the interior apprehension of meaning in language. It comes from the Sanskrit word Sphot or Sphot which literally means to burst forth or when applied to language, a bursting forth of illumination or light. It is correct. You must know about Svota theory. Well, in Sanskrit, you know, this fourth word means bursting or opening. And Bhartahari actually meant this. He said that I am the speaker. What I am telling you is just a stimulus. What you are taking, that is what you uncover from the meaning, okay? I am just a stimulus. You will apprehend the meaning, okay? That is Sphota theory. There will be a spurt of emotions, spurt of knowledge, which is already inside you when I'm telling you something, okay? I am just a stimulus. Speaker is just a stimulus. That is Sphota theory. So B is also correct. Let's go to option C. The Dhwani theory was propounded by Bharat Muni in Natya Shastra. No, no, no. The Dhwani theory was propounded by Anandavardhan. Okay. And here Dhwani, it means suggestion or hidden meaning. So option C, not correct. Let's go to option D. Abhinav Gupta made a commentary on Bharat Muni's Natya Shastra in his Abhinav Bharti. Absolutely correct. Abhinav Gupta did make a comment on Natya Shastra in his Abhinav Bharti. Natya Shastra, as you know, it is the most ancient text of Sanskrit, right? Written by Bharat Muni. And we are done. So, Abhi, consequence options correct way? A, B, and D. 
Awesome. Okay, you're liking these questions? You want to grab your own copy of these question answers for great? Call us right now on 9387839871. Okay, let's move on to question number three. Here it is. Very easy. The words is the autobiography of your options are A. Albert Camus, B. Jean Paul Sartre, C. Jacques Derrida, or D. Nietzsche. Come on, the words, the words. It talks about his early childhood days. It talks about how, if anything bad has happened with you, you can just forget about it, still move on in life. That is what the words is. It's basically a memoir. It is by Jean Paul Sartre. Just perfect, a Parisian. You should know this, okay? This, uh, the words, was originally published in French in the year 1963. Okay? Good enough. Can we move on to question number four? Here it is, okay? Again, Indian writers in English. Of No, no, no. You know, basically... They have, this is, this is a book which is actually written in Hindi. Okay. They are Indian writers. This is a Hindi book. Andha Yug. You should know this. Let's, let's move on. Andha Yug or the Age of Blindness is a poetic play. Structured on events in the Mahabharat, Andha Yug focuses on the last day of the Mahabharat war. It is a powerful metaphorical work by, your options are A. Dharamvi Bharti, B. Sharan Kumar Limbale, C. Mahadevi Varma, or D. Michael Madhusudan Dutt. Who has written Andha Yug? You know it. It is option A, Dharamveer Bharti. Well, a little bit about this. It is a verse play, as I told you, written in Hindi in the year 1953. It's an allegory. Okay, why is it an allegory? Well, Bharti. He spoke of the partition of India, the days after partition, when there was there were deaths, there was turmoil. He compared it with Mahabharat because he said, in the end, victor and vanquished, everyone suffers eventually. Okay, so it is basically a five-act tragedy, Andha Yoga. Okay, good enough. And now the last question of the day. What is an acrolect? Your options are A, the term used for the language variety of high prestige. B, the term used for the dialect that has become a language. C, the social use of language investigation and negotiation. Or D, the term used for the dialect that has disappeared from common use. Tell me, acrolect kya hai? Acrolect hai, a prestigious language, okay? High up, pinnacle, wo hai acrolect. So obviously, answer kya hua? A, term used for the language variety of high prestige. See, there are three terms, acrolect, mesolect, basilect. Mene aapko baut bataya, ab aap khud padhenge. So you should know these three terms and then let me know in the comments, what do you think about it? And... This is all for today. If you want any such help from us related to GATE, you can contact us on 9387839871. This is Hina from Team Test. It was lovely teaching you. And I'm going to come back soon with more such question answers. It is awesome. Yes, bye-bye. Take care.